Huge college football game this Saturday night, Georgia at Texas. And I've got a free play with analysis for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And very well might be a national title elimination game for Georgia if they don't get this win. And currently, as an underdog, the odds makers are saying they're probably going to have their second loss of the season. Meanwhile, Texas undefeated, doesn't have to win this game, but they haven't really been tested yet. Oklahoma wasn't much of a test last week. So are the Longhorns for real, or is there value with Georgia as a rare underdog in this game? Well, let's start with my database simulation. I simulate 10,000 games through my FBS database each and every week, come up with an average margin of victory. And on average, I've got Texas winning this game by over 12 points at home. So yes, there is line value with the Texas Longhorns at the current number. And to put this line in perspective, it might seem a little pricey at minus four and a half, but the look ahead line this summer was Georgia minus two. So yeah, back in June at Circa, they had Georgia Bulldogs as a two point road favorite. Now it's Texas minus four and a half, even five in some spots, but I don't think it's high enough. I project a 12 point win by the Texas Longhorns. Now, Texas has not faced an opponent like Georgia all season, but they have been dominant in the opponents they face. Look, you can only play who's on your schedule, right? That's the old adage. And they've so far have held their opponents to just six points per game and just over three and a half yards per play, including four and a half yards per pass. Now, this is a huge step up in class against Georgia, a team that's averaging eight and a half yards per pass, almost seven yards per play. I get that. But I do think Texas is still the stronger defense in this game. And Georgia has shown some holes in that defensive armor this season. You know, Georgia usually is a lockdown D. They're giving up 5.2 yards per play this year against teams that average just 6.1. Texas is averaging 7.2. So I do think Texas can move the ball in this game. And you got to be worried about giving up over 500 at Alabama. Also, they struggled last week against Mississippi State. And I mentioned those two games uh, for a couple reasons. Not only because Georgia struggled, but because of the common opponent edge. Mississippi State, Texas played them back at the end of September, just a couple weeks before, and uh, they won that game by 22, and Georgia only won by 10. Also, both teams had a 2-1 turnover deficit in the game, so it's not like anything was different. Um, And defensively, there was a big difference in that game. Georgia gave up over 300 passing yards last week to Mississippi State. Texas held them to just 144. Let's go back to last season also. Don't forget, Texas played Alabama. Both teams played Alabama last year. Texas beat them, of course, as a seven-point dog on the road in early September, um, and that was a solid win. Meanwhile, Georgia lost to Bama on the neutral field last December in the championship game, which kept them out of the playoff four. And um, once again, if you look at the common opponents, Texas very well has been the better team maybe the last two seasons, and I think they are again this year. And once again, my projection is a 12-point Texas win, so I do think there is still line value at minus 4.5 to minus 5. Take a look at the Texas Longhorns, 730 Eastern Saturday night on ABC. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? Side, total, what are you looking at in this game on Saturday? What other plays do you like? I do read all the comments. I reply back. If you're liking these free play videos, comment as well, and I'll keep them coming. Thumbs up, like, also greatly appreciate it. Boom, smash that thumbs up like you did it. I appreciate it. Hey, we're almost at 180,000 subscribers here on Wager Talk TV. I know you've probably already clicked subscribe, but if you forgot, do it right now. And consider clicking that bell as well when you subscribe, because then you'll get an instant alert when these free play videos go up throughout the week for college and pro football. Basketball starts next week. Baseball is still here. And of course, you'll get an instant alert when my college football top 25 video and NFL fade the public videos are ready for this weekend. So subscribe and click that bell as well here on Wager Talk TV. Now, these free play videos are great, and I know they help you build your bankroll, especially those of you doing your own handicapping. But if you're serious about treating this as a long-term investment approach, there are two things you must do. First of all, you got to make sure you're playing my best bets, which are available to my personal clients only each day at wagertalk.com. It's quite simple. This is my 29th football season as a full-time professional handicapper. And if I'm using the game, my clients get it as well. I'm very selective, anywhere from one to three plays per day on average in all sports. And so far in 2024, we're up over 170 units won, and there's still two and a half months to go in 2024. And right now, you can get the rest of 2024 for free when you sign up for 2025. And I'm including an additional $200 discount on top of that. Here's why I'm doing that. First of all, I want you to take a serious long-term investment approach, and the way to do so is to have an annual package. So the 2025 annual package with the $200 discount is a great offer. But as an added bonus, you're getting the rest of this year for free because I want you to sign up as soon as possible and keep winning with us. I'm 8-1 and one over the past week, up over 170 units this calendar year, and you get the next two and a half months for free when you sign up for 2025 All Sports. Keep in mind also, the next few weeks is the only time of year that baseball, football, and basketball is all going at once. 
Finished the baseball regular season 31-13 and 13 winning run. We've been crushing it the last week in baseball in the playoffs, undefeated so far this week. Football ranked number one on best bets this regular season already, college and pro combined. And the NBA starts next week. I'm number one all time, including the last three years combined profit in the NBA at Wager Talk. Great time to be an all sports, all access client, and the, and the price and the offer's never been better. The rest of this year free when you lock in for next year. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz sm. Now, I know some of you are football only. Nothing wrong with that. I do have two special promo codes this week for my football only clients the rest of college football for $2.99 or NFL for $3.99. Two special promo codes on my page as well, right with the daily free play. Check out that daily free play. Check out my daily best bets. They're also recapped at the bottom. The last 20 are running tally. You can see that current 8 and 1 run this week. Exact plays we had with analysis when you click on them. And don't forget about the daily free play and those promo codes. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Follow me on X and Instagram. Also, get more active on Instagram. Who knew? Yeah, you know now. X and Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on social media, on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free videos coming up next.